A simple definition of modern dance is a form of dance that is in contrast to ballet. Modern dance started as a rebellion against the rigidity of ballet. Various performers and choreographers rebelled against the rigid formalism and limited possibilities of classical academic ballet. They also rebelled against the traditional ways of show dancing. The main difference between modern dance and ballet is that modern dance offers more freedom. If the dancer or choreographer wants to do movement with the legs bent and the feet flexed, they can, whereas in ballet, the invention of movement and freedom of expression is very limited. Ballet is a structured art form, one in which the movements have been around for hundreds of years and are repeated the same way with little variation. While there is no doubt that ballet is a beautiful form of dance, some dancers and choreographers prefer more freedom. In the early 1900s, European and American dancers started to rebel against the rigid constraints of classical ballet. Ballet steps were set in stone and must be done exactly as they've been done thousands of times before. Modern allowed them to deny classical ballet technique, costume, and shoes. Instead, they focused on the use of gravity as well as creating emotional movement based on the choreographer's interpretation of the music. The focus of the choreographer was self-expression and was more relaxed than ballet. This allowed them to invent new movement, tricks, and turns. There is not only more freedom of movement granted to the dancer, but the choreographer as well. Instead of movements being choreographed facing the front or going on diagonals or straight across the stage, modern choreographers choreograph movements facing the back of the room or at interesting angles. In modern dance, the dancers often stand sideways or even face the opposite direction of the audience. They, are also, they also are choreographed to do movements that focus on the perception of manipulated gravity, otherwise known as the weight of the body. Because of this focus, falling motions are often choreographed into modern dances, whereas ballet focuses on creating the illusion that demonstrates the absence of gravity due to the effortless looking jumps and leaps choreographed into ballet performances. In ballet, dancer or, or choreographer could not include any steps that aren't an accepted part of the art form of ballet. However, modern opened countless doors and possibilities. It led to the way to a more contemporary form of dance, which allowed for more creativity and body movement that had not be se been seen before. This modern dance rebellion began mainly in the United States, but also in France and Germany. It was not easy to break through the centuries-old tradition of ballet that was and still is deeply rooted in European and American culture. At the time, all dance centered around ballet, and it was one of the main forms of entertainment in the public. Opera was the first, and ballet was the second. So as can be expected, modern was not instantly popular or accepted by the public at first. However, today it is now widely accepted and is the main form of dance taught in American universities to dance majors. People such as Isadora Duncan, Loy Fuller, and Ruth St. Dennis, and Martha Graham ignited this form of dance. Up to date, there are said to be three eras of modern dance. The first era was from 1880 to 1823. The pioneers of modern dance during this time were Isidore Duncan, Bruce St. Denis, and Loy Fuller. The second era was from 1923 to 1946, which was led by German dancer and choreographer Martha Grant. And the late or third modern era began in 1946, which was led by Jose Limon and Catherine Duncan. That third era still continues throughout today. And since 1946, especially in recent times, there have been countless modern dances and choreographers who have created a whole new library of movement through modern dance. They have invented many new movements and tricks that would have never been accepted in ballet. With all people who contribute to modern dance today, there is an endless possibility of combinations of movements and ways of moving the body, tricks, and turns that can be learned. In the early years of modern dance, dancers, specifically the leaders of these eras, often performed barefoot and wore loose tunics or other costumes that are far from the traditional tutu, leotard, and tights worn in ballet performances. 
Their modern costumes made a statement against the slippers and costumes worn by ballet dancers and further differentiated the genres of dance and made them easily distinguishable from one another to audiences. Today, modern, also sometimes called contemporary, is one of the most popular dance styles. It is commonly featured on the reality TV show So You Think You Can Dance and is taught in studios as well as in universities across the United States and in parts of Europe. Today, modern is often ta taught in conjunction with ballet as a requirement because while modern is defined as a contrast to ballet, some of the technique overlays and ballet teaches valuable discipline that can be used in any dance style, including modern. The syllabus from, from modern dance originates from ballet movement. The difference is that today's modern dance is infused with contemporary interpretive movements. In some respects, this is a return to the most primitive dance techniques where the body moves instinctively and improvisationally. Modern changed the face of dance for the better. This creative and interpretive dance form that sprang from ballet introduced the world to a new form of unfamiliar movement. It changed the way people view entertainment, dance, and reconstructed dance education, choreography, and opened up more possibilities of movement. During the early 1900s to today, modern dance has become a widely spread and appreciated form of dance.